everyone, my name is Ams, and we are celebrating 1,000 subscribers today, which is crazy. I never really thought, uh, never really thought this channel would grow that much. I um, kind of just started it for fun, really. Uh, that's the secret, I suppose, um, to making most of uh, most of my mashups is because I just felt like hearing it myself, so I did it for fun. And then I put it on YouTube, because maybe other people might want to listen to it. But uh, anyways, uh, today I'm just going to be doing some Q&A. Uh, in the background here, I've got some gameplay of a, a nugget in Library of Ruina that looks like Shren soloing the She Association. Uh, so let's get started. Our first question is, how's your day? Thank you for asking. Uh, my day's going pretty good so far. I hope you're having a wonderful day yourself. Uh, which video would you redo? Uh, I would say um, the video combining Toxic by Britney Spears with, um, I don't remember which uh, which soundtrack it was, but it's from Canto 1. Because I think it was, a, it was two good songs to combine with each other, but I feel like it could have been mixed better. Uh, and some of the timing I think could have been done a bit better as well. Favorite Project Moon character? I'd probably say uh, Roland. Not the most creative answer, <laughs> uh, but Roland's cool. Roland's funny. He's got the drip. Um, also up there, I'd say it would be Eugen. Um, definitely not as much of a main character, but she's definitely really cool. I love Boundary of Death, although I definitely didn't like getting killed by Boundary of Death as many times as I did doing, um, trying to do this little challenge going on in the background. Favorite song out of the Project Moon games? Um, I think I'm gonna split this up into two questions, that being uh, my favorite Millie song and my favorite non-Millie song. Make it a little bit fair. Um, my favorite Millie song would be uh, Iron Lotus, absolute banger. I also love the key ingredient, in, uh, key ingredient version if you haven't heard it already. As for my favorite non-Millie song, uh, that'd be a bit hard I think, to dis uh, determine, because uh, there's a lot of good ones, especially in Limbus Company. I like a lot of the stuff from Canto 2, the jazz, uh, as well as, um, you know, some of the music from uh, Hell's Chicken and the SEA event. Do you have a specific method for making mashups, or is it more a case-by-case -case thing? I'm not entirely sure uh, what a specific method would be. I guess it is more case-by-case. -case. Um, typically, as far as just getting an idea, uh, I kind of just like, you know, I'll, I'll just be listening to uh, one or the other, uh, some music, and uh, some part of it will remind me of some other thing, and I might think, you know, maybe, maybe put these two together, see if they sound good. So then I just combine them. Um, if you mean like the process itself, uh, typically uh, whichever one is longer, um, stays largely unchanged and then I kind of like splice and move around parts from the other part uh, to make it match the length. Usually this ends up being a, you know, splice up the Project Moon song, but sometimes it uh, ends up the other way around, This is a little funny. What software do I use to make mashups? Uh, for audio editing, I use Audacity. Uh, I also use ToonBat as a quick little tool uh, to check what uh, key things are in. Uh, it also measures BPM. As for putting to the videos together, I usually just use Windows Movie Maker, the true classic software. Because um, uh, most of my videos are just a, a static image with audio in the background, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Although, um, for the hardware store video, I did also still make that in Windows Movie Maker which was kind of excruciating, but uh, it worked in the end, I guess. Any tips you'd give anyone trying to make mashups themselves? Uh, I'm gonna say two things, one technical and one, um, I don't know, spiritual, I guess. Uh, as for technical, I'd just say, um, you know, play around with whatever software you're using, get a little comfortable with it, be able to know what you can and can't do. Um, you know, quirks to look out for in your software. Um, but the more important thing, I think, is uh, just make mashups, um, make mashups that you want to hear uh, yourself, instead of trying to like force something out. I think uh, favorite band. Um, 
I don't really know if they count as a band, but my favorite musical producer would be Wonderful Opportunity. Uh, as for an actual band, I guess I'd say Saint Motel. Favorite Limbus Identity and Sinner. Uh, right now my favorite identity, I think, is uh, Warp Ryoshu. She's lots of fun to, to mess around with. Got her uh, Dance Dance Revolution move. Nothing better than having one skill one and two skill threes. Um, DAC Rodion also came out pretty recently. She's a lot of fun to, to use, especially to solo. Uh, as for my favorite sinner, um, I like different sinners the most for different reasons and different things, but I think overall I'd probably say Sinclair. Uh, if you haven't read Demian, which is the book he's from, I'd highly recommend it. It's pretty short. Um, but yeah, he's pretty endearing. Favorite abnormality or distortion? Uh, that's an interesting question. Um, I'd probably say Night of Despair. She's got lots of drip, pretty cool. Shout out also to uh, Opened Can of Well Cheers, as well as um, The Adult Who Tells Lies. Are there any songs you want to make a mashup with, but haven't been able to figure out what to mash them up with? Either PM song or non-PM song. Yes, actually, there's several. Uh, and for both, both types of songs, uh, a PM song I tried for hours upon hours to combine with something was the, uh, the battle music uh, for um, fighting Dong Bake's Ego. Uh, it's it's weird because it's at a 6-8 time signature, I believe, and there's only so many songs that are in 6-8. Uh, I actually tried to uh, combine it with House of the Rising Sun, uh, but I just couldn't really like get it to sound that good. Um, as for non-PM songs, there's quite a few I've been thinking of. Um, one of them in particular has been uh, You Spin Me Right Around like a record. It just... I just can't combine it with anything, <laughs> uh, which is a shame. Do you ever plan to use the same song in more than one mashup? Um, not really, or at the very least, I would try not to for the sake of uh, for the sake of variety. Uh, there are definitely some times in which I'm tempted to. Uh, for example, with the with the SEA theme, um, I'll I'll edit this in here so you can listen to it. Just hear uh, Get Lucky by Daft Punk. She's up all night to the sun. I'm up all night to get some. She's up all night for good fun. I'm up all night to get lucky. Again, which is funny because in the last Intervallo theme, um, Hell's Chicken, I, I heard the same thing. How did you become a Project Moon fan? It was, it was one of two things. I don't remember which one happened first. Uh, but my first game was uh, Library of Ruin, and I either stumbled upon that uh, through the like Steam like recommended, if anyone even reads those, and it piqued my interest, or it was I found String Theocracy by Millie first, uh, and that led me to it. And our final question: Why did you use base sinners in You Open Hardware Store Soonily? Uh, that's an interesting question with a pretty non-interesting answer, I think. Uh, so I got the I got the gameplay footage as one of the last things I did, um, kind of just as as filler, really, I suppose, because I didn't want to make more <laughs> images myself. Uh, I already knew that I was um, using Bass Merceau and Bass Sinclair uh, in the video because it was their their talking sprites. I suppose I just uh, used the rest of the sinners as base sinners since uh, those two already were going to be. So that includes our uh, Q&A. Uh, thank you very much everyone for uh, your continued support and I'll see you soon. Bye.